Hello everyone, hope you're all keeping really well. Uh, my name is Thomas Johnston and I'm calling you from Dublin, Ireland. And I just want to thank Kathleen Turner at the University of Limerick for inviting me to share a song with you all. Uh, so I'm going to sing a song called In the Land of the Trees. I'll play my whistle and also a, a shruti box that I have below. Um, a, lot, a lot of my work uh, involves creating work with and for very young children ages three to five, three to seven. Um, so this is one of those songs that I wrote a couple of years ago called In the Land of the Trees. So I, I hope you enjoy it. Here goes. Shining bright through the night in the land of the trees, in the land of the trees. The morning sun rises high, dancing beams light the sky. Creatures stir and come to life in the land of the trees, in the land of the trees. High above at the dawn of day, a little swallow swoops and plays. Her bursts of song, they fill the air in the land of the trees, in the land of the trees. So there you go. Uh, that's called In the Land of the Trees. And in a workshop, uh, there there are, I suppose, a number of different ways that the song can be used. Um, before even going there, really, we'd have a lovely chat about all of the different sounds that we might discover um, in a forest, uh, the forest soundscape and all of the creatures that we might see just to bring ourselves into that into that world of the forest. There's a little song that I often use as well, uh, all about the sounds of the forest. So for example, 
What sound do leaves make in the forest? What sound do leaves make in the forest? And we listen close and we will hear the sound that fills the air. What sound do twigs make in the forest? What sound do twigs make in the forest? And we listen close and we will hear the sound that fills the air. And we could have feathers, or we could have pine cones, or what else would you find in the forest? Leaves. Uh, and, and really, uh, always, always open it up to the children to get their ideas and, and let them take it in, in any direction that they want to. And then when it comes to the In the Land song itself, there are some actions uh, that, that work quite well, in, in particular for that, that age group bringing story together with music together with actions uh works really really well um one is the the dancing beams uh the morning sun rises high dancing beams light the sky so just getting that nice dancing beams another one of course the flocks of swallows um Oh, I can't bring myself into that verse now <laughs> without saying it from the start. Uh, the, the flocks of swallows, but obviously the getting our wings in, in time with the song as well is really nice. And the the last um the last verse, the forest floor is lush and green with tall oak trees. She used to get her arms up into the sky, and singing streams. The wind it whistles. And just take a moment. That lovely sense of wind and breath um and yeah so and again open up each verse to, to lovely movements uh that the children themselves suggest and and in, in in each course the opportunity for call and response um the in the land of the trees in the land of the trees so for the the verses would very much be I, I wouldn't necessarily break it down call and response to learn the words because you'll find over time uh, the children start singing along but I would really sit in with the, the the chorus to get that nice call and response and think about the actions uh, in the verse as well and and with the big dance in the middle for the for, where I play the whistle or you could play your own instrument it's all about flying around and it's freedom and it's uh, lots and lots of movement there um, so that's it hope you enjoyed in the land of the trees and what sounds are made in the forest and thanks again for the invitation to to join you all and hopefully I'll see you down the line in person who knows all right thanks everyone Slan.